Let's go back to the 4th century when all the universe was still a mystery. A common man would look up to the sky and often wonder, what is up there? Is there something beyond what is visible to us? And if yes, then what? It wasn't until the late 4th century that astronomical study was brought into use. Several study records show that astronomy was studied in detail by the ancient Greeks. This study was brought to a higher and scientific level in the 4th century and it was only then when humans finally started to understand the nature of what lies out there beyond us. Throughout thousands of years from Galileo to Edwin Hubble, the science of space and its understanding has progressed into a complex, developed, and rapidly growing branch of the modern world. Now, let's come back to the year 2021. Numbers of private and public space companies have been established that are playing their part in studying space for the betterment of mankind, establishing a safe environment, and developing their base on the moon and other planets. One company that truly stands out in this modern era of space exploration and development is Elon Musk's SpaceX. It's very unlikely that in today's age someone has not heard about it. Founded back in the year 2002, it is soaring high and aims to establish mankind to Mars in the coming years. With the Falcon 9 and now its latest and most ambitious project, Starship, it's very clear that the team will achieve their goal soon. But, 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 there's a slight problem here. It's no hidden fact that a Starship is one massive rocket. Its 120 meter height and 5,000 ton mass speaks for itself. With 28 Raptor engines, a fully assembled Starship is bound to make a whole lot of noise. Even from a distance of about 8 to 9 kilometers, the sound level of a Starship upon launch will be about 112 decibels, which easily exceeds 75 to 85 decibel sound range that is very likely to damage our ears. So, with the sound range of about 112 decibels, it is bound to cause problems for nearby residents and buildings. The sound waves that will emit amidst the launch of this ginormous spaceship would be powerful enough to smash the windows and cause damage to the nearby buildings. No doubt, being an inconvenience for citizens. So, today in this video, we're going to talk about the purchases of oil rigs by SpaceX and its purpose. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon for the notifications of new uploads so that you don't miss out on our videos. You see, the population nearby, in addition to damaged buildings and windows, will surely suffer some other ailments as well, like a slightly damaged hearing problem for those who are sensitive to it. The point is, a launch site near a residing population will be a hassle for both, the company and the residents. And no company would want to be on bad terms with its nearby residents, right? This isn't it, folks. Who knows what could go wrong during the launch of a fully assembled Starship? We surely are not jinxing it, but let's be real. We've got to look at all the possibilities. Let's hope nothing like this would go wrong during the actual launch of Starship. And with the developments commencing daily in the SpaceX headquarter, an error like this seems a distant possibility. But with the frequent launches of a Starship in the future, they would need to move the launch sites away from civilization. The risk of problems for citizens nearby is not just one reason. SpaceX's launch site for Starship is located in Brownsville, Texas. That is a known fact, but what is not known is that launch sites similar to this on the dry land are far away from the equator. This is a similar problem that the launch site for Starship faces. A typical launch site like Cape Canaveral in Florida is another victim of this problem. When launching from this site, the satellite is far away from the equator and heads out toward the sea, limiting the range of orbits that can be achieved by the spaceship. Apart from that, even if plans on flying along the equator, half of its fuel will be used for reaching the equator. A waste of resources and time that would be. No company would want this hindrance. This equator thing is a bigger problem for geostationary satellites that need to fly just along the equator and travel with Earth's rotation. So, the question that now comes forward is that how can these problems be solved? How can the company avoid damage to the nearby population and solve the equator problem? The answer to this is pretty simple. 
launching its satellites and starships from a sea platform. Let's dive into how launching from a sea platform can be made possible. This idea of launching from a sea platform is not a foreign one when it comes to the world of aerospace engineering. It has been done before by another company in the late 90s. A company called Sea Launch opted for this launch technique during the 90s and was specialized in launching their rocket, named the Zenit, from a sea launch. And it wasn't that the launches from the sea platform weren't successful, they were pretty smooth. The company in the 90s was successful and well known as well. The only reason why most of us haven't heard of it is due to the resources and input required for launch and fewer flights themselves. The company went bankrupt. So the idea isn't new, but it's pretty beneficial. Last year, SpaceX was also open to hiring engineers and technicians for an offshore site. So is SpaceX buying an oil rig for a sea launch? The answer is yes, indeed. These suspicions or rumors were further confirmed earlier this year when an oil rig named Deimos was named after a moon of Mars. This oil rig was previously owned by a company called the Valeris, an offshore drilling company that unfortunately went bankrupt back in the year. After bankruptcy, the Valeris sold this oil rig and another one called Phobos, named after another moon on Mars. These oil rigs were then purchased by a company called Lone Star Mineral Development LLC and were sold at a shocking price of about $3.5 million each. That is shocking, keeping in mind the fact that it takes about $650 million or more to construct a fully functioning oil rig. That is a massive difference. Whoa! Now, upon further pondering, it came to the attention that it was none other than SpaceX that was behind the transaction. As it turns out, Lone Star is a subsidiary of SpaceX, so it's pretty fitting to purchase these oil rigs. So the fact that SpaceX is aiming for an offshore launch is confirmed. And that isn't it. Other than purchasing oil rigs as a platform for launch, SpaceX has also purchased an unused oil well. Now, what is the oil well for, you ask? Well, as we know, one of the main fuels used for the launch of the Starship is liquid methane, which is pretty costly to ship. So why spend money on buying and shipping it when you can have your own? Pretty smart. These large propellants and other equipment for the launch are surely going to be pretty large and heavy. Our first guess is that the surface of the oil rig will be cleared to make space for all the equipment as well as for launching and landing. A large area is required. The large tower in the middle of the rig, called Derrick, will be used for all the drilling equipment. The massive engines and propellants will be kept in the second portion beneath the deck. Another problem that now comes forward is that no doubt the rigs are surely going to be infected by oil and grease to some extent. Being named oil rigs, right? All the rocket flames near these oil-saturated rigs sound like a disastrous idea. This is why these oil rigs will be stripped down and reduced to the basic structure, nothing else. What is needed, according to the launch and landing of the rocket, will be built by engineers and technicians later on, and the pace at which SpaceX is progressing, this will happen very soon. If they succeed in launching rockets from a sea platform, which is very likely that they will, SpaceX's main aim of colonizing Mars will be a possibility that we will be able to witness soon enough. Only the prototypes of SpaceX have been launched as of now. The actual Starship rockets are going to be pretty large than the prototype version, and soon enough we will witness their launch from a sea platform. Well, 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 that's all for today. This is all that's known of the oil rigs purchasing and their development for launching and landing of the Starship. We wish the team at SpaceX the best of luck and are hoping for the best. For more such exciting content, stay tuned!